tell how you came to be, cause no longer a mystery. Black sheep is your birthright, it's cold for the one who brings the light. I back to there's a crack, you don't fall back, remember who you are. No rest for the wicked with their skull degree. The you spell work as projection to send out envy, hate, and jealousy. You are the prototype, your ancestors champion. They shield you and send back those spiritual attacks. You are divinely protected from the dummy bats. Yeah. Big Cat, the most high, got your back. He sits high and looks low, so don't get smoked to smoke yourself. Big Cat, move in silence. Only time you speak is to say check me. Namaste. Grand rising, Big Cat. Welcome or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555. Come in. Come on. I've got intel. <laughs> Recon is afoot. Energies. Up, 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 big cat. I insist. May your comings and goings be covered by the grace of Father God, Mother Isis. Call your ancestral team. When in doubt, go within. Let's dive in, darling dears, and unpack. Mm, you have the energy of a seven. Okay, I'm gonna put this to one side to remind us what's going on. Big Cat. You've also landed on the energy of a three. So it's about your community, your family. Mm -hmm. It's also represented by the element of wood, which is yang energy, masculine energy. Um, it's supported by water element, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, darling dears. Mm -hmm. It's also something to do with um, your support systems, darling dears. Um, your social life, um, your friendship groups. This is where this read is going to be. Oh, I didn't even show you. See, it slipped off the free now. Um, it's also representative of an easterly direction as well as the air energy. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Okay, let's drop down and get our eagle on. And uh, let's dissect the energy of the seven. You have the energy of two. So you have travel, darling dears, travel. Um, your travel plans are going to be going well at this moment in time. It also speaks about this being a time where you're going to be getting a lot of compliments, darling dears. Gifts in the form of information or friendship, darling dears. Not everyone that presents as a friend is a friend. Mm -hmm. The two also speaks about it being an extremely fortunate time for you, darling dears. We also have the energy of the five. The five is about your security, your stability, what kind of um, foundation you are building for yourself at this moment in time. The energy of the two five, darling dears. Are you ready? Anytime we see the two five come out, right? Someone, a public figure is about to be disgraced, darling dears. They're all going down Bobby Brown, Hollywood, the music industry. Yeah, it's all going down. And I told you, they're gonna, they, they haven't seen, we ain't seen nothing yet. Because at this moment in time, Pluto is currently in Aquarius, but it will dip back into Capricorn between September and November of this year, darling dears. And I'm telling you that 1% is going to get it without the Vaseline, darling dears. Their consequences and repercussions are going to be on them, darling dears. They're going to have to face the piper and dance to the beat of the truth roof. Pinky's up. Mm -hmm. Good golly and gosh, I know. For others, you have... um. Some, you're going to be meeting someone or someone's coming to see you but they what they tell you darling is the information that's gifted to you at that time is going to change your path but you will move move in silence you'll take the information on board and keep it pushing okay the energy of the seven your birthday could be the seventh the 16th or the 25th or that's a significant date or number in your life you could be a life path seven the seven is represented by the letters gpy you'll never forget it why it's an abbreviation of gypsy so number seven gpy the number seven is ruled by neptune the planet of disillusionment darling dears dreams um addictions it's also about the oneness of it all neptune rules the 12th house the 12th house of what spirituality darling dears it's of your old old age it also speaks about the occult. Maybe you are looking at your numerology, um, your birth natal chart, um, 
tarot cards, darling dears. So somebody's also finding guidance on you, darling dears. They're getting divination on you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These hidden hidden enemies. I nearly said hedonists. Good golly and gosh. Freudian slip meant to come out, darling dears. Somebody's wishing you be in one of three places. The prison with R. Kelly, right? The madhouse. Yes, barking at passing cars. Mm -hmm. Or in the bed of infirmment, darling dears, unable to move. Mm -hmm. Or in the grave, dodo dead, darling dears, pushing up daisies so they can come to your funeral and sing Amazing Grace in a baritone with no tears on their face. Mm -hmm. The 12th house is also a reminder not to allow your subcon your conscious mind to run you over, darling dears. Question those thoughts. That's a message for someone. Okay. The 12th house is also the house of privacy. They can't see exactly what they you're doing, darling dears, so they are getting readings on you. Mm -hmm. The energy of the seven is is genius, darling dears. You are in your genius boss up mode, listening to these spiritual downloads. The seven is a highly spiritual number. Again, mark it on your almanac. We have a public figure being taken down Bobby Brown in the next seven days in a major way. Remember I told you that, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. The energy of the seven, your luckiest days will be... Um, Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday. Your luckiest numbers are four, five, and seven. The numbers to avoid will be two, three, six, and eight. The seven is extremely healing, darling dears. It's a psychic number. Again, listen to your intuition, and yes, the explorer energy is there. You are exploring different realms, darling dears. We saw the 12th house, look into occult. Occult means hidden knowledge, things that have been hidden from us for many a, many a decade or should i say century or thousands of years darling dears well guess what we are tapping in the way they used it on us we are using it to protect ourselves especially with this new moon solar eclipse total eclipse in aries on the 8th of april baby i told you fasting is key you need to fast lead it up to that date and then choose one day in the week after that time to fast darling dears remember i told you that Mm-hmm. All right. Um, the numerology of the three. The positive side of it, darling dears, you must continue to express your ideas, your creativities by any means necessary. Go online, darling dears. Start a business. Go for that promotion. You will get that spot. Why? You're coming in with what genius ideas, bringing genius to a situation, the way you think about things, your logic, darling dears. Mm-hmm. The negative sign is to what? Guard against impulsivity over the next seven days and scattered energy. This is why I'm telling you, rein your thoughts in, darling dears. Rein them in. Mm -hmm. The number seven in tarot is ruled by the chariot as well as the tower. The tower means sudden change, darling dears. The energy of Uranus. Uranus also rules electronics, darling dears. So again, go online or if you're online, watch your stuff blow up in a big way. I mean, a good big way. Mm -hmm. Chariot energy again is success. This could be the purchase of a car, a mobile home, or travel abroad, darling dears. All these things are going to be going well, but we are in the retrograde of Mercury in Aries. Aries listen, it's all going on in Aries this month, darling dears. Trust and believe, mm -hmm. including the most fortunate conjunction of Uranus and Jupiter in Taurus at the same 21 degrees, darling dears. 21 is world card for what new beginning, darling dears. Things working out in your favor. And it's also the what 21 of a second chance and a fresh start. And again, the 21 is again talking about the world travel, darling dears. Somebody is definitely going on a world trip or a trip in the world. Mm -hmm. It could also be spiritual, darling dears. Be more enlightened going forward not backwards in the words of abraham lincoln okay let's carry on darling dears let's carry on this read is going to be about the seventh house darling dears about your partnerships the seventh house is the house of contracts mm -hmm. ruled by venus energy venus rules libra venus is about abundance it's about your creativities yeah seventh house is the house of open enemies darling dears people are hating on your creativities they want you to be scattered remember that's energies from outside of yourself black tourmaline um black obsidian crystal darling dears yep next to a mirror in your boudoir keep it on your person in your chariot of righteousness it's your vehicle that takes you anywhere you go or choose to go is righteous fist bump mm -hmm. 
the seventh house, your one-to-one -one relationships, it could also represent a marriage. Maybe you was in a marriage. We thought the seventh house is also the lower courts. You could have, what, divorced yourself from that situation. It's about, about all of your one-to-one -one relationships, your, your work colleagues, family members with your progeny, neighbours, everything. But it's about what the general public, darling dear, someone from the general public, a public that you no longer frequent, darling dears, is what wishing badness on you. I told you three places they want you to be. Mm -hmm. Somebody's going to get some kind of notification message about a paternal grandfather or a paternal or maternal grandmother. Yeah. But you have many qualities to be admired, darling dears. Yep, Venus energy, I told you, seventh house, lower courts. Somebody's going to try and negotiate with you over something, darling dears. Make sure you read the fine print, why? You are the one that comes through with balance. They are coming to what? Give you scattered thoughts. Remember, I told you that. All right. Let's press on. We're going to get some intuitive cards first. We're going to go with the yellow. Um, for, oh, sorry. I didn't put up Neptune. Mm hmm. Okay. Where should I put those cards? Good golly and gosh, now everything's hiding from me. I don't I don't like to play hide and seek with my stuff. Okay, the Neptune energy is coming through with the frequency of 211.44. Play that energy over the next seven days, darling dears, in order to what? Give you enlightenment, darling dears. Help guard you against any form of tyranny someone's trying to bring to you. The 12th house is also about healing. You have to perpetrate your own healing, darling dears. Somebody is going to reveal a secret to you or someone is trying to reveal or has been revealing secrets about you to other people. Mm -hmm. Let's get the card for Neptune. Or oh, is that gone missing? These cards like to go missing. Nope, found it. Neptune comes through with a 10, darling, doesn't it? It speaks about sacrifice. Don't let, allow yourself to be the sacrificial lamb. Sacrifice could also mean letting go of a situation that no longer what? Serves you. The energy of the 10 speaks about ending of a cycle. Something is complete in a partnership. Could be a divorce, darling, dears. And I'm also seeing the completing of a signing of a contract. This contract is going to put you in what? Places where you did not believe your feet were going to step, but your words will be carried, darling, dears. Your works are going to be carried. Mm -hmm. I already told you about the energy of Uranus ruling technologies. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, one dot left on the table. What's this? Look, the energy of seven. Listen, two sevens on the tablet. It's seventy-seven. It's telling you to look, look, go within, darling dears. Go within. All answers come from within. It's also about, um, it's about being in, in alignment with your spiritual purpose. Where will you find that? On your birth natal chart. I told you 12th house is about the occult, hidden knowledge. Birth natal chart, darling dears. Your north node will tell you where you're meant to be in this cycle, darling dears, on this life path. Mm -hmm. The second, the sixth and the tenth house will tell you how to make those skrillers.com, darling dears. I'm telling you, it's all there. It's always been there. Mm -hmm. You are Dorothy with the ruby slippers, darling dears. Divine wants you to believe in yourself because you have to be in that space, believe in yourself. That opens you up to what deserving, what is coming towards you and what steps up the attraction. It's about you continuing to share um, share, share, share your testimony, darling dears. Some of you are counsellors, healers, whatever job you're doing. You, you end up counselling other people. Your words are healing, right? Why? Because your words carry spiritual weight, as notified to you by the Neptune energy and the two sevens. Wow. What's this? Right? STD. Somebody sees you as something to do, and it also speaks about spiritually transmitted demons. Let no weapon be formed against you to prosper. Yeah, run away like Tinky Winky. What's this? Your ancestor ancestors don't play with you darling dears call your security some some battles are not for you to fight darling dears you give it up in forgiveness right taking a secret to the grave darling dears maybe somebody told you a secret mm -hmm. or somebody wants to take a secret to the grave why it would absolve you in the minds of the feeble-minded the simpletons let them take it to the grave you've got nothing to explain to no one 
right? I don't give a good golly or a gosh about you. Good golly and gosh. Didn't we just say that? You don't care. Give it to your ancestral team, darling dears. Mm -hmm. They never cared about you either, darling dears. And your ancestors don't play. You had to understand who you were, darling dears. Yeah. An STD could also be... Think about what? This person may have given you what? An STD, darling dears. Kicking in your pantaloons like Jackie Chan. Mm-hmm. A serial diseaser. Let's press on, darling dears, and get your oracle ancestral message. Somebody was a taker in your life, darling. Yes, we've seen these two, what are they, bowls? But it's like the two pillars of wisdom, Boaz and Jashin. In the upright, is for completion and beginning. Mm -hmm. In the reverse, darling, dears. Listen, it's a new beginning in, in fucking ease, blood. And it also speaks about the spiritual energy of it all. This is somebody or some bodies who is a Jezebel spirit sending you a lot of negative energies, darling, dears. In the face of what? Mother Isis. And remember, it's not your battle to fight, darling dears. And it's on the energy of a 10. We've had two 10s on the tableau, darling dears. 10 and 10. 10, 10 speaks about what? Letting it go. Mm -hmm. The universe hears you, darling dears. This is about your purpose, right? Your purpose is near to completion. The 10, 10 is also binary source code. Remember... Listen, we've so spoken about so much on this channel, darling dears. Divine wants you to continue to work towards your goals. Why? Because your breakthrough, your breakthrough is upon you. It's near. Base of the deck, darling dears. What did I just say? You're about to be liberated. The three and the seven goes to a what? Another ten. I can't make it up. Ten, ten, ten across the board. Posh, clap. Yeah. It doesn't matter who says no or who said what. God has the last say, darling dears. Um, green seems to be the most predominant colour here at this moment in time. That's represented by your, your heart chakra and the frequency of 637 as well as Friday. Mm hmm. Okay, and as I already said, Friday is going to be one of your luckiest days, darling. Dears. The number seven is represented by the astrological aspect of a semi sextile. So it's healing, the healing that you've acquired, darling dears. Is creating a true transformation that is divinely guided, and you got tens across the board, dar darling dears. Posh, clap. I can't salute you enough. How about a round of applause? You deserve it, bestie. Mm -hmm. What's this? Shame, darling dears. Shame. They need that bell like in Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shame. Somebody tried to block this new beginning. This is an archway, a portal, or a gate, or gate, gateway, darling dears. It also speaks about, as I said, some kind of spell work was tried to keep you in place. Mm -hmm. Check your house, darling dears. If you've let a marauder into your house, check to see if they've secreted anything in the crevices. Check every corner and clean it out, darling dears. Remember I told you that. Sage, California white sage. Um, Whatever you, whatever, I just said, dragon's blood. Use that, darling dears. That just fell into my, as it falls into my mind. Now I'm going to just start telling you because it's all part of the messages for someone or someone's. Yeah, they got no shame, darling dears. None whatsoever. Yep. Red root chakra is over there, what? Their genitalia area. So the, their foundation was created by what? Their sexual energy. What did I say? Jezebel spirit. Well, it's the house of contractual partnerships, darling dears. Mm-hmm. Let's get a deck. Base of the deck, the baddest of them all. This is you, the empress. Of them all, all of the queens or all of the kings rolled into one. You may even be a parent, but it's about you knowing your worth and adding tax. Posh clap. Mm -hmm. Love it. Your growth game is off the chisayin, darling dears. You're looking beautiful, sexy and abundant. And most of all, stable. It also represents you being, you are the right choice of anybody's wife or husband, darling dears. But it does ne not necessarily mean the one you're allowed to choose you or you're allowed to be chosen by, right, was the right one. But that was then. Now you know your worth. And it also speaks about the abundance again coming towards you. Somebody's also buying a house, darling dear, setting down roots. Base of the deck. While someone is crying at your back, worried, darling dear, press pumped and perturbed. It also speaks about anxiety. Somebody's feeling anxiety. Is it about, about a pregnancy? 
Okay. Somebody's worried about a pregnancy or some children. Okay. Let's dive a little deeper. Why is... Okay. Somebody feels extremely stuck. Mm -hmm. Someone you are no longer working with. This is the partner that you had, darling. This is in your home. This person that affected your health. They never worked with you, darling, dears. When we see the three of pentacles on its forehead, darling, dears, even in the work situation, there was a lot of office office politics, a lot of sloppy workers around you. No teamwork, no support, no support in the relationships or friendships. Remember, we're talking about the seventh house, the house of contractual partnerships on every level. Mm -hmm. You was loyal to a situation that was never loyal to you. King of Wands, this is about you using your higher mind. We've now got... Two people on the tableau, darling, dears. This is a balancing of your masculine and feminine energy. You're nurturing as well as you're protecting and providing. But this is about you using your intuition to move forward. You have a message coming towards you quickly. I said you're going to have somebody visit you or you're going to meet upon someone who's going to tell you something that is going to what? Make you sit down and go, hmm, things that make you go, hmm, hmm, yeah. It's going to make you see a whole different perspective, darling, dears. And it's going to help you release what no longer serves you love it clarify this nine of swords on its forehead let's give it a good shift yeah but someone is stressed out about you darling dears unable to sleep possibly at the 3 a.m where they're being enlightened by your what ancestors that don't play mm -hmm. somebody's pressed pumped and perturbed darling dears yes nine of wands this is somebody who is what Next to the King of Wands, King of Wands can also come out as somebody who's a manipulator using their, their genitalia, darling, is their charm in order to get what they want. Somebody's being made to look at what they, what the, the, what they did to you, the karma they created in a situation. They are de dealing and mean, darling, dears. Lofty ideas. Didn't realize that they had the prize the whole time. They created a lot of wounding, darling, dears. This is the type of person that will sleep around in you and have pillow talk. Talk about you to the person they're sleeping with, darling, dears. Telling them people that, oh, no, it's all your fault. You're not well, right? You're spendthrift. You're into the drugs. You're doing all of the above when they're talking about themselves, darling, dears. Hangman also speaks about someone being spiritually caught. Caught up. Mm -hmm. When we see two nines on a, on a tableau, darling, dears, two nines in juxtapose speaks about this cycle is now over for you. It's ended. Finito. Dos for Daniel to that. Yeah, you may feel the loss of the separation. But you have to remember, you have made room, darling, dears, for something greater, something more rewarding to walk into your life, being divinely guided. Divine wants you to what? Let go of the past. Give it to God, darling, dears. Father, God, Mother, Isis, right? Especially regrets. You can't regret anything that you take as a life lesson once you've learned the lesson, right? This is about you um, focusing on what new what new you what what new things you want to create and attract into your life darling dears weed out the dead weight darling dears and cut it away once and for all now we've got three nines listen in the uk where i reside 999 you are calling the services fire police or ambulance mm -hmm. but all come with a siren the siren of something big happening in your life darling dears and again the 999 is the definite end of this karmic cycle and you're what your ancestors don't play right yeah you you will feel nothing for them darling dears never hate anger nothing you're nothing in them yeah mm -hmm. just you're ending this chapter in order the karmic cycle for this new chapter to manifest in your life Letting go, of, letting go of the things, the people, the place. And the seventh house, darling, dears, as I said, it could have been a marriage, a long-term relationship. You're not even worrying about the um, the incidentals, the furnitures. Let it go because divine will pay you back 1,000-fold. Remember, memory. Why would you want all that shit? I don't even want the clothes that I had from in that. No, clo nothing. All of it carries energy. Now, God rid, darling, dears. Clean sweep and all that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the 999 again is a message to say that Divine is aware that you, you you know that you've learned your lesson. You're not to repeat that cycle again with them or anyone that comes with the same energy. Mm -hmm. It's time to, for you to what? Remember, ever forwards, never backwards. And you must remember to share your testimonies because you are a survival kit for another big cat. Fist bump. Yeah. Hangman. Yeah, 
You avoided a scud missile, darling dears. This is what? Karmic debt. And you left the situation. Divine had a hand in that situation. When we see the tower, which is... I can barely speak, darling dears, but I'm going to try my best. When we see the tower, it's fire, Mars and Uranus. Mars is about aggression, putting yourself first, darling dears. Uranus is the sudden change. When we see it on its forehead, darling dears, mm -hmm, all of this and that, you you avoided continued oppression, darling dears, and, and more chaos and disastrous things to happen to you, right? These people or this person was banking that you'd be scared of changing when it was their energy that they was putting onto you. They was the ones that made you fearful. They were the ones that were codependent, darling dears, because you was always the prize. Remember I told you that? Yeah, on another 10, darling dears. Tens across the board. Four tens, darling dears, the energy of the four. It speaks about the you manifesting in this new stable structure for yourself. The number four rules um, Big Cat Leo as well as Aquarius energy, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Something to do with someone's left arm. It just went a bit numb from my wrist to my elbow. And uh, I've got an ache in my lower back. Around the kidneys. If it's you, darling dears, or maybe it's them, but whatever the energy is, know that your ancestors don't play with you. Temperance energy. This is about you balancing things out. You've been on a difficult journey, darling dears, but you have blessings coming on the way. The Knight of Pentacles is the lowest, slewing, slowest moving knight in the deck. Yeah, but someone has unfinished business with you. Like I said, the Marauders will be coming in. Why? Because you are the light, darling dears. You are. And they're hating. They're hating on your Lazarus. Mm. You the comeback cat. Mm -hmm. Let me write that Shiznai down. Sorry, I can't forget it. All right, hating. Right. That is going to be the title. Hating on your Lazarus. You are the comeback cat. Watch, clap, fist, bump. As your big cat chronicles continues. Yeah, some of those they got unfinished business with you, big cat. Right? Mm -hmm. Don't forget that public figure that's going down Bobby Brown over the next seven days. All right. On the world stage as well as in your community darling there's someone who is what an open enemy you're going to hear about their downfall possibly by brought to you by the merchants of slander you know those flying monkeys that before you can say i don't want to know they've they've vomited out everything yes 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 someone has unfinished business with you darling dears yeah because of the seeds they sold they sold the wrong seeds, and it's also showing that you was with the wrong partner was with the wrong partner why was you in that situation because you had to learn you had to learn how to use your psychic abilities darling dears your intuition and discernment not only that you had to learn not to be naive because they've done it many times and you've got another 10 that's five tens on the tableau darling dears the energy of the five the conflict the confusion that they brought into your life and in your cranium mm-hmm you have not really big cat, best you are. You have to remember how they, they affected your prefrontal cortex and shrunk your hippocampus, right? And your amygdala, woo chow, woo chow. That was all lining up to activate your PTSD. and the D. Mm -hmm. This person is also going through a lot of trials and tribulations. They are being discussed by many darling dears, possibly because of some kind of sexual health issue yes baby all the demons that they carried and left at someone else's domicile or should i say mud hut anywhere they be is a mud hut i don't care whether it's a mansion or not the proof is in the pudding with what p diddy look at that mansion it's a mud hut mm -hmm. yeah this person wounded you but it also speaks about your spiritual strength the unseen you leaned into the unseen to overcome that situation they have the unfinished business with you and they're, they're having difficulty traveling to you why? Because number one, they ain't got the Skrilla. Mm -hmm. Maybe even lack of a vehicle, darling dears. Where they are, they have no standing. So they're being treated like the help, darling dears. Where they are, they've lost a lot of money. And it also speaks about mental health issues, blood. So they're going to... They Hold on a minute. Bestie, oi. They want to approach you, right? 
and they've got no certification, right, from a counsellor, psychiatrist or exorcist. What do they want to cause you grief, darling dears? Let me ring my bell again. Let that bad juju stay with them. And get my big bell to let spirit know that I mean it. The shame. They ain't got no shame, blood. They want to come and rock back up into your life where you knew when you found the two of cups. Do you remember your edges, your hairline? All of the problems that they deliberately caused in your life. Low self-esteem, a partner attack that attacks you like that. And it's surgical with the attacks, darling dears. It also speaks about what? Swords in reverse. They've got no communication skills, darling dears. That's why even if you went to them with something that they did, right, to talk about it. They're telling you, oh, you want to start an argument and abuse you even more. Because they've got no communicational skills. No, you prefer the two of cups, blood. Yeah. You live in their head rent free, darling. There's this wrong partner or person in your life. Justice energy. What's that? The seventh house of contractual partnerships. What you've done, darling, is you've created constructive freedom for yourself and a painful ending. When we see the justice card, it's a karma card. You are their karma. Mm -hmm. Listen, this is getting juicy but goosey. All right. Okay, clarify the justice card. What did I say? They are pressed, pumped, and perturbed. They didn't think they'd lose the big cat and that you would do pull a Lazarus, right? The comeback cat. You, 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 what it? Abundant cat. You prototype cat. You bionic cat. You ibex cat. Mm, you've seen the ibexes. If they see a crack, they don't fall back, blood. They run up and down sheer face mountains. Trust and believe. They're stressed, darling, dears, king of wands. Yeah, because maybe they even tried to what? Manifest you back or came into your face, darling dears. King of Wands, they came with all the sexual energy, trying to look their best. How did you feel when you saw them again? Listen, touch not the anointed. They're full of bad luckedness. Listen, another ten, that's five ten. No, six tens. The energy of the six. There'll be no harmony and teamwork and cooperation. This is on its forehead. Nah, mate, you weren't playing with them. You understood bad karma when you see it, darling. Yes, you came through with the right karma when you freed yourself from this, what? Mental slavery. That's what it was. Right? Yeah, when you said loud that, you fell back. And this is you cutting your ten, crossing your ankles at the knee. That's what we call it in Jamaica. Cutting your ten, darling, dears. Praying for inspiration, right? Praying for guidance, praying for strength right you may even have had progeny darling dears in the background this is a mother and child or you could be the father and child all you did was pray for strength and to get past this dark time mm -hmm. right look now you're bossing up on them darling dears queen of wands this also speaks about breathes into jealousy darling dears negative energy spell cast duration because you're gone right look they made the wrong choice darling dears they chose what a peasant over the empress or emperor that you are. He or she for whom the sun rises. Bear, bear. They was laughing, blood. They was laughing. They was laughing. But they laugh no more. Mm -hmm. It's not funny, but yet they're still spying. They know that you'll never take them back. They can't deceive you anymore with empty words. Efficient 5-6. Pardon me, that was a spiritual belch because I speak the truth, Roof. Pinky's up. Yeah. Outrageous, I know. Let's get another deck. Let's get the one with all the colours in it. Taking a secret to the grave. The secret better be that they that, that they want to come back to you. Tell no one. They must tell no one that she's naive. Mm -mm. Remember, as one door closes, another opens. Revelations 3, 7. What's this? Yeah, get the black bags. Yep. Get out, push off and kick rocks. You possibly told them. Try to keep busy. All I can think about is you. You better go for your... Run run to your black obsidian crystals. Your your um, black tourmaline, darling. Just run to it. Don't walk. Run. Block that negative energy. They will even try to come at you on your astral travels. We all astrally travel at nighttime when we're sleeping. The key is to understand how to control that during the daytime. Mm -hmm. How how do I how did I begin my journey of astral travel? 
you've got to lay down on your bed, right? And then you see there's a, if you put your, the tip of your tongue to the roof of your mouth, you'll see a, feel a little indentation. Put your tongue there, okay? But you can't move. You've got to lay still. Don't move, darling dears. And your body will send you signals to test to see if you're awake. It'll make you want to itch. Um, get up and go to the toilet. It'll make you do all of those things. You've got to overcome that and keep your breathing in a rhythmic feeling. You know, keep it rhythmic. You know, do your breath work. I, I do what? The four breaths in. I hold it for the count of four. Eight breaths out. And that slows down my everything. And then you will feel yourself... And you will know that as you sit up and look back at yourself, darling dears, I'm telling you, you can do it. There's so many things that you can see. Mm -hmm. Right? There was nothing but a pedestrian sperm engineer. Good God. How low can you go? Right? You've got jealous siblings, darling dears, on your case. Yep. Like white on rice, darling dears. Jealous of your everything. Right? Uses sex to get what they want. What did I say? A dick dealing mattress but pedestrian sperm engineer. They don't like the fact that you're moving in silence. And all the talk is about you, these Chinese whispers. And the more what? More ears it goes to, darling dears. The more embellished the story is. Right about now, you're sounding like the one who was there and cut Jesus' sandals as he was pulling the cross, darling dears. You're the one that cut Jesus' sandals, according to them. Mm -hmm. Continue to move in silence, stealth mode Continue with your Easter Island, Stevie Wonder As you what? Perpetrate your Lazarus mm -hmm. They did that shit, darling dears They did it well, why? Because they can't come back They can't come back What's this? Proper spy and Did we see world card on its face? It's Sputnik, a hater, a spy An analyst, darling dears A stalker with the children of the corn eye Mm-hmm Jealous of your peace and abundance. Wants to bring you down. Bring you down, bestie. They want to bring you down to their level. I think not, Scotty. I think not. Had to put my back into it. Right? What's this? They're in court, darling dears. In Keitha and Malkuth. Court is also the seventh house. Maybe you're taking them on a habeas corpus or they're going through other legal cases against them, darling dears. Right? They're on the docket and judgment knows their address, darling dears. Final card from here. What did I say? Little finger. They're trying to drive public opinion about you, the general public. But who cares about the general public? You only care what's going on in your hemisphere, what you're creating for yourself. Right? But we must also remember, we are peaceful. We are spiritual. We do no harm, but we take no she's naive. You can still cuss someone out, darling dears. But don't tongue wrestle, right? Back and forth. You say what you gotta say and keep it moving. You might not, you don't even have to use profanity when you tell someone about themselves. This those hit dogs will start hollering. Bloody cheek, they wanna come back, right? So they can hang on, hang on, right? Mm-hmm. For one more round, Julie! With your psychological password, darling dears. These dull-eyed, dull-eyed, soft. Soft fools, these simpletons. You took your pain and turned it into champagne, darling dears. Isaiah 54, 17, no weapon that's formed against you shall prosper. And if they get through all of your spiritual barricades, your ancestors, darling dears, you need to take the knee and ask the Most High, why is this pestilence? How did they manage to get close to me? Why are they visiting you again? Remember, any thoughts you have about them, darling dears, is keeping you tied to them. Cut every soul tie. Leave no stone unturned. And if you have anything that they gave you or left in your dome, it's I'll get rid, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Let's get one more deck and get some more messages, then we're out of here. Yeah, you've been liberated from the situation, darling dears, from the takers, the takers that give that never fill up your cup. They wait till your cup was in the dredges, darling dears, and then they try to take the last, the last, last. Mm mm. Come through, burner boy. Wash clap. Yeah. This is a new beginning for you, darling. This is also teamwork and business. Everything is on the up and up because you took that two of cups. It also speaks about the guilt and shame by the mask wearing marauders, darling dears. As they witness your Lazarus, I can't make it up. The miracles that are manifesting in your life. The four and the two goes to a six. Things that are harmonious, darling dears. Things that you're going to be realizing that you're getting teamwork and protection from all areas. The number six rules Libra as well as Taurus energy. Taurus is the second house. Your, how you make your money. 
right? Yes, be your 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 value. What you what you va what you value, darling dears. Your possessions, your resources, um, non-material values, darling dears. It also speaks about the government. You may even be working for the government, darling dears. Yep, or getting a government grant. But it's a new beginning for you. They're gonna watch it in their face, right? Watch you what level up. Look, what's at your back? Miracles and level up, which you don't see coming. But you've been doing that work. And look, the Empress Energy, darling dears, the baddest of them all. I bex you be. On that note, I drops me mic. Todd Lowe to my teesprings. Pick up some of the channel merch, darling dears. My Patreon or my TikToks, where I also upload videos. Thank you for your continued support of me and these messages. Thank you for your bookings. Your donations, your likes, your subscribes, your shares, and most importantly, your comments, darling dears. Your comments, which are a survival kit to another big cat. Mm -hmm. And as I always say, don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself from the ashes, baby. Namaste. Big cat wave. Until we meet again on these tarot streets. Cat, 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 cat. The beat is no longer a mystery. Black sheep is your bird fight. It's cold for the one who brings the light. I bet if there's a crack, you don't fall back. Remember who you are. No rest for the wicked with their soul degree. The you spell workers' projection to send out envy, hate, and jealousy. You are the prototype, your ancestors champion. They shield you and send back those spiritual attacks. You are divinely protected from the dummy bats. Yeah. Big Cat, the most high, got your back. He sits high and looks low. So don't get smoked to smoke yourself. Big Cat, moving silence. Only time you speak is to say checkmate.